Now, if you're completely stripping the vehicle down to bare metal, you're gonna wanna prime it before you paint it. I personally just went over the layer of paint. I use the Orbit Sander to sand it down. Any spots where you have rust, you're gonna wanna use about 80 grit sandpaper or maybe a little higher if you prefer. Focus on that rust and get it down to bare metal. Now, after you do that, I use this. This is Rust Reformer. Primer will work as well. Um, this is basically like a primer, I think. I honestly don't know, I'm not a professional. Last time I used primer and I had some rust coming through, so I'm gonna try this rust reformer this time. And just on any bare metal, make sure you prime the bare metal. Other surfaces are okay, but before you paint it, prime the bare metal. Once you get to that stage, you're at where I'm at right now. Now, my Jeep's been painted before, but I didn't do such a good job last time, and I'm a lot more confident this time doing it, so this is what I'm doing here. So now I have this 800 grit sandpaper thing. So let me just pop that on real fast. Or not 800, this is 400 grit, I lied. 400 grit. I'm gonna sand over the primer and then paint we have less lightly before I start painting it. The clouds are beautiful today. Like, I don't know if you can see them. Look at this. So much for cloudy weather, I guess. It was supposed to be raining today. It was supposed to be storming all week, but we have this beautiful sky and this drone shoots 8K time lapses. So right here, it's a little rough. Um, I'm actually going to sand back over this a little heavier. I'm gonna put some primer filler there and see if I can help clean that up a little bit. You guys aren't gonna believe this. Oh, I was outside, you know, I was working on it and I turned around and I saw little specks on the Jeep. Can't paint it, so I went inside and then um, I actually laid down and fell asleep for like an hour or two. I don't know, my back is kinda sore and I felt tired. Oh, is my brother home? Oh no, that's Terrence. Hang on. Gotta tell my number one supporter slash gaming friend that I'll get on in a minute. What's up? I, I'll get on in like a minute. I'm about to open a couple packages for my YouTube video. So yeah, basically what I just told him, I got some packages in the mail. Excited, these are the packages I thought were coming in Monday. Those are important enough. We're just gonna rip it apart. Red. This is an automatic door locking kit. I feel like it's gonna be make me feel a lot more comfortable knowing that I can just press the key to lock my door. Safety is always a really big thing. Rhino USA, power strap. If someone needs to pull me out of a sticky situation, that's gonna be super useful. It's a 110 amp power converter. This thing is actually bigger than I thought it'd be. I thought this would be a lot smaller. Oh, it's heavy. Oop. A 110 amp power converter. That way I can charge stuff. So I don't know if it's where it's gonna fit, but we'll figure it out. This, bulky. All right, this is one of two things. This is either my shackles or my shims. I don't know which. It's hard to get open though. Okay. Find whatever this is, this will help me. Oh my word, hard to open. This thing is like bolted down. Okay. Ugh. This is shackle kit. So my shackles are apparently kind of worn out. Um, apparently they're supposed to flex. I didn't even know they were supposed to flex. But I'm trying to avoid any you know potential damage that could come. This is gonna add about an inch of lift too, so that's gonna be pretty cool. So we'll add this all to the mess of stuff over here I have right behind me. The sky looks like it might be clearing up, so I might get to go back out and start actually or actually finish painting the Jeep. This will help you, but I'm, I'm definitely not a professional. If you're watching this video and you're thinking about spray painting your Jeep, there are a couple things you should know. Don't expect it to look like some professional shiny job. If you're trying to make it look like a brand new paint job, it's not. Also, be self-aware that if you plan on ever getting it a professional paint job, um, you probably should not spray paint it. You should just wait and save up for that professional paint job because it is just, it's not going to work out very well. And the paint that I'm gonna show you that I use is actually great paint. It's held up great, like I spilled gasoline on it and everything, all the junk, and it holds up amazing if you do it right. But before I get back to the Jeep, it's time for lunch and it's chorizo. Yeah. Look at that white boy flipping it. That's my brother over here flipping the tortillas. 
This is how you flip a tortilla. You take your hand and you flip it. It's not that hard, guys. <laughs> this may or may not become a staple on my road trip. Like this is the bomb. So this is currently what the hood looks like. I got that primer on and sanded it down. So you can probably see right here, it's a lot smoother. It's still a little bumpy right there, but overall I think it looks a lot better. So now that's all ready, all I need to do is take some mural, mineral spirits and or some alcohol and then you just rub it down and clean it up. That was a very important step. I missed the first time I did this because that is gonna clean up any oil or anything you have that could cause the paint to warp. The only thing left to do is actually paint it. So the paint I use, this is just some custom spray from Army Jeep Parts. I'll link them down below. They sell multiple different um, military surplus rattle can spray paints and then you can also buy it in the gallon. This is actually the same exact paint that Jake uses for Jade. It holds up really good. So this is just what I'm using, rattle cans, and let's get this done. Okay, actually scratch that. It's apparently too hot and windy for this and I'm just gonna do a really bad job. Wait till it's nice and cool and there's not a lot of wind. We're gonna wait on that. It'll probably be painted tomorrow though, so see you guys then.